Howdy, everybody. Here we are all ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. Well, folks, here's another weekend caught up with us again. Don't they roll around, though. How many of you radio listeners, by the way, are planning parties this weekend at your home? Quite a few of you, I'm sure. And I'll bet a lot of you are wondering what to serve for refreshment. If that's the case, here's a tip I found out about, and it's very useful. Serve Horlicks malted milk or Horlicks and sandwiches. How's that for a suggestion? All right? At something different, something your guests will appreciate instead of the usual tea or coffee. And no trouble at all to prepare, either. Just add water to Horlicks malted milk powder, mix, and it's ready for serving. You don't have to add milk or flavoring unless you wish to. Just use sufficient of the powder and mix thoroughly. And that's not all. Besides being a delicious and welcome change at your party, Horlicks is energy-giving, too, as you probably know. Sustaining enough to keep the party going in full swing. It won't interfere with the bridge game. It won't leave your guests feeling heavy as a rich and elaborate supper so often does. And besides, elaborate meals are expensive and hard to prepare. Try out this simple Horlicks malted milk party suggestion tomorrow or the next time you have friends at your home. If you don't already have a package on hand, you can get it at your druggist in either natural or chocolate flavor. And now, just a word about the flashlight, which Lum and Abner offered to send to listeners. Frankly, folks, we didn't know we had so many friends. And the number of requests for flashlights was so great that they cannot be made fast enough to send out promptly. But, of course, everybody who ordered one will get his flashlight. Not right away, but just as soon as is humanly possible. We know that you'll bear with us in this matter. And when you finally do get your flashlight, we know that you'll be delighted with it. And now, let's see what's happening down in Pine Ridge. Well, Abner has done some very foolish things since he's been elevated to the office of president of the Jotham Down store. But yesterday, he kept the climax by buying ten cases of soap from a traveling salesman and paying $25 in advance on the order. <laughs> As we look in on Pine Ridge today, we find Lum and Abner down at the store. Evidently, Lum doesn't approve of Abner's recent investment. Listen. You're very odd. It's as much soap as we've got on hand here, and you pitch in and buy ten more cases. Yeah, but we ain't got nothing like that world wonder. That's the outdoing stuff I ever seen in a way of soap. Wouldn't surprise me none if that fella don't just put that $25 in his pocket, and we never will get no soap at all. Well, now, they better send it. I'll make them send us that $25 back. I got a receipt from it. Oh, you did? Why, of course I did. You don't think I'd just turn that money over to him without even giving me some kind of a showing for it, do you? Well, I didn't know. Anybody that's goose enough to buy something like that from somebody they never heard of before, I'd mind not believe anything about it. Yeah, well, I got the receipt right here in my pocket. That's just the trouble. You don't give me credit for knowing how to run this business. Let's see the receipt. You better put it up before you lose it. Well, let's see. Where did I put that thing? I might not bet I put it here in my hip pocket with my watch here. For goodness sake. <laughs> You've got more junk there in your pockets than some ten year old young and <laughs> you already get some marbles and tops to make that. Yeah, hit it, hit it. <laughs> yeah, I know what I had it here. Yeah. Your account is past due. Please send it no, wait a minute, that ain't it. That ain't it. That's something else here. Yeah, yeah, that must be it right here. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Let's it. see. Uh, received of Mr. Peabody, $25. Yeah, I made him give me that. <laughs> well, yeah, but there ain't no name signed to it. Huh? He give you a receipt, all right, but he never signed no name to it. That ain't worth the paper it's wrote on. Well, I'll be that blind. Yeah, that's fine business, Abner. Give a perfect stranger $25 and not even notice where he signed his name to the receipt or not. Yeah, well, I'll just write the company and ask them who their drummer is down this territory. I'll find out his name all right that way. I can dig up the soap or the money one and get that drummer there in the back of trouble. That's what I'll do. You say you're going to write the company? Yes, yeah, sir. Right this evening, I'm going to write him. I know that he can't put nothing like that over on me. Uh, whereabouts is the company located? Huh? Uh, where's the company at? What town are they in? Oh, why, they're... Uh, well, I, I don't recollect hearing him say it. I reckon it's on that receipt there, though, ain't it? Hmm, ain't nothing on here except received a Mr. Peabody $25. That fellow just beat you out of that money, Abner. That's what he done. Well, I do know. That's all that's on there, ain't it? Well, sure. I figured the whole thing was a fake when I first heard about it. Oh, no, no, I don't think it was a fake, Rom. You'd have bought that soap yourself. You'd have saw that demon straight that he put on. 
Take my wheel off my buggy and wipe the axle off with that white silk handkerchief. Got axle grease all over. And he just take my little pan of water and some of that wonder soap and washed it out just as clean as it was to start with. Yeah, I told you, Abner, that weren't axle grease on there, though. That was black tar soap. I seen him just before he come over here, stop and taking the wheel off the buggy and wash the axle off good and then, then rub black tar soap on there. Natural, when he smeared that tar soap on the handkerchief, it, it washed right out quick as he put it in that pan of water. Well, it looked like axle grease to me. Why, well, sure he did. That's just what he aimed for it to look like. Now, Bounty, he just goes from town to town pulling that same stunt. Hey, well, I weren't the only one that got fooled. Grandpappy Spears and Cedric stood right out there in front and seen that demon straight, and they both wanted to buy some of it. Oh, yeah, Grandpappy stood me up and down, and it wasn't no faith. Even after me telling him I seen the drummer putting the tar soap on the axle with my own eyes, he still wouldn't believe me. Why, no, he was over at the place last night wanting me to let him have part of the territory on it. Part of the territory? Yeah, well, I uh, see that uh, that fella, he'd give me the exclusive rights for this whole territory. Yeah, if he'd give you something for that $25, you'd have been a heap better off, though. <laughs> mm, Dog, no, I'm just a good notion to let old Grandpap have a half inch on I believe I can get $25 out of him while I'm getting her money back. No, you don't. No, no, Abner, that ain't right. You ain't going to take advantage of Grandpap. No, sir. You made your bed, now you'll just have to lay in. Well, now, if he wants them. Huh? I said you made your bed, now you can just lay in. Well, what's me laying up in bed got to do with this soap deal? You never said nothing about you laying up in bed. I said you made your bed. Now I you... never made my bed, though. Elizabeth always makes up the bed door at our place. Uh, uh, that one. ain't the kind of bed I'm talking about. Well, that's her. the I'm... only kind of bed we've got, Mom, except the folding bed down the parlor, and we ain't used that, and I don't know oh, why. goodness ain't. sake, Dabner. You can't get nothing straight in your head. Do you mean just because that fella maybe beat me out of $25 an hour to go to bed for a while? No, I ain't talking about you going to bed. I just using that old lettered saying, you made your bed, now you've got to lay in it. Well, I just won't do it. I won't do it. I ain't got no use for a fella that'll lay around in bed all day. I told you that ain't the kind of bed I'm talking about, though. You ain't talking about flower bed, Dave. No, of course I ain't. Well, we got some flower beds out there in the yard, but no, Lady Beth won't even let the dog lay in there much If you don't shut up, I'm going to fix you to where you'll have to lay in bed. Now, just hash up about it. You're the trinest fella on the body's patience I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, yeah, you're just mad because I won't do what you want me to. Think I'm going to lay around in bed all the time just because you well, said... Wait, 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 there's some squire skin. Let me get out of here. I don't even want to talk to you. Oh, him. for goodness sake. Reckon what he won't know. I don't know, but if he tries to say anything, don't even listen to it. No, I just stuck my hands in my ear. No, I couldn't hear nothing, man. I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't know what he's well, talking about. I'll be back after a while, Abner. Well, good afternoon, Bob. Oh, good afternoon. Howdy, Squire. Hey, not leaving, are you, Long? Yeah, I think I've got some business to tend to, Squire. Abner's in the store there. He'll wait on me. Oh, yes, yes. Hello, Abner. Hello. You're the very one I want to see. Eh, uh, howdy, Squire. What can I do for you? Well, I want to have a little talk with you, Abner. Yeah, sit down, sit down. Yes, yes, thank you. Uh, what I come over to see you about, Abner, uh, Grandpappy Spears was telling me that uh, you bought some soap down here yesterday. Uh, World Wonder Soap, I believe he called it. Uh, said it had anything beat that he'd ever seen. Yeah, well, Grandpappy was down here when that fellow demon stayed to tell me. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was telling me about it. Uh, said the fellow took a white handkerchief out of his pocket and... Uh, Smeared axle grease all over it, and then took that soap and washed the stains right out of it. Well, uh, he claimed it was axle grease. Mm, I understand that you've got the exclusive rights for this territory, Abner. Well, uh, he told me I did. I reckon I have. Well, now, Abner, I was just sitting over there at the place thinking a while ago, uh, you and Lum has got this store here, and that occupies all your time. I'm uh, sort of looking around myself for some kind of a little business to get into now. The real estate game ain't very lively right now. I was just thinking that maybe if I offered you a little profit on the deal, that you might be willing to turn that uh, agency, the uh, exclusive rights on that soap, over to me. No, I reckon not, Squire. Better not tell it to nobody, I reckon. It might not turn out so well, and then they'd want to hold me responsible. Well, now, I'll never hold you responsible, Abner, if I come over here and bought it with my own free will and accord. Yeah, but now, that, that soap might not be no count all, Squire. Well, I'm willing to take them chances, Abner, after what Grandpappy said. I believe I can take the agency for that soap and make a good living out of it. Well, I don't know. I've got my doubts about it. Well, now, before I left the office over there, uh, 
I sort of drawed up a little agreement here, Abner. Uh, you might look it over anyway. Now, there ain't a thing in it that'll bind you in any way. Says uh, to whom it may concern. Oh, one of them things, huh? For the sum of fifty dollars cash, I do hereby agree to turn over to M. K. Skim the exclusive rights on the World Wonder Soap for the Pine Ridge Territory. Sign. Then you can sign your name right down there. Did I understand you to say fifty dollars? Well, now yes, but now that's just a figure I sit down there, Abner. Uh, how does seventy five dollars sound to you? Seventy five. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do, Abner. I'll make that an even hundred dollars. But now that's just as hard as I'm going to go. Well, now, Squire, if you're just bound and determined to buy that, I'm going to let you have it. Give me a hundred dollars. I don't get out of that. But I'm telling you right now, Squire, you're going to have to start making your own beds if you lay in them. <laughs> and to think there are some who've been criticizing the business ability of the new president. <laughs> and now... Let's go on over to the Barclay home. The young Barclay son in the air is making this dinner far from peaceful. Well, can you beat that, Alice? Yes, he's gone. Why, he just stomped away from dinner and right up those stairs. Mm, I sort of like it. That's the spirit that'll make him a great man. You have to get angry once in a while to be great. Hi, right, Alice, you shouldn't fuss at him so to make him eat when he says he isn't hungry. But just look at that plate, hardly touched. Oh, don't worry about it. He just left his dinner, so he'll be sure to be hungry for breakfast. John, you know Ralph needs that food to grow. Yeah, well, if he needs it, he'll come and get it. Say, does Ralph eat anything between meals? Why, he does when he's hungry. This afternoon he had some cookies. Then I remember I gave him a dime. Of course, of course he may have gotten some candy. Gosh, Alice, you can't fill up even a ten-gallon boy like Ralph twice in three hours. You ought to make him leave out the eating between meals for the good of his stomach. But he was genuinely hungry this afternoon. He plunges into everything so hard. He needs to eat in the middle of the afternoon to get more energy. Say, I know something that'll shoot him full of energy. One of the fellows down at the office passed him around several afternoons. Not candy. Oh, no. Horlick's Modern Milk Tablets. Horlick's? Why, we fed Horlick's powder to Ralph when he was a baby. Sure. And Horlick's tablets would be just as easy for his stomach to handle now. They satisfy hunger. And because they digest so easily, they actually help the appetite. I see. Well, that's an idea. I'll give that boy some Horlick's tablets tomorrow. Have your children take Horlick's Modern Milk Tablets with them to school. Carry some yourself. When those dull times come in the day when your pet is exhausted, dissolve a couple in your mouth. You'll feel the difference right away because the nourishment of all the rich, full cream milk in Horlicks turns into quick energy. You can get Horlicks malted milk tablets in handy trial class for 10 cents or in larger sizes if desired. This is Carlton Bricker speaking for Lum and Abner and Horlicks, who bid you all good night and good health. <laughs> <laughs> 